Shake that ass, bitch. Hands all you need. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The vibrator back. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Chase Vibes. As y'all can see for the title, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a beat for Drake inspired by For All the Dogs. Y'all know this is like my third video doing this. It's gonna be the last one, I promise. This one is highly inspired by his song that he got with Party Nets Door. I think it's called Members Only. I'm gonna play a little snippet. I can't wait for September. Cause that means that this is the beat that we're gonna be breaking down. Yeah. Distance for me. Take it for me. Take it. Take it for me. You know what I'm saying? Party on this bitch, and then Drake comes in. Yeah. Ooh. Can you take it for me now, baby girl? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is you what talking the fuck about? Was that? Yeah, as you guys can tell, this is a very ambient r&b open record you guys see i literally have four drum sounds and that's for a reason if you guys listen to the members only song it literally has four drum sounds quick announcement i actually just dropped my new drum kit called summit custom sounds made by me nobody else got these sounds you know what i'm saying all right so the first thing that i did was went over to my artificial analog lab bank and i got this synth pad called scary hours and this is the chord progression that i played out yeah open and then i add an f sharp right here and an e right here so after i did that obviously i had to layer it with a bass so i went over to my inception one shot kit and i grabbed the bass out of here the bass is called know me yeah we we're in the key of a minor real subtle but you could feel it like you in a car and it's just late at night 3 a.m think about it look mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's 3 a.m you driving you're like whoa what's that and then the 808s drop come on yeah whenever it comes to making these party nets door drake open r&b melodies 99 percent of the time a lot of it is just a lot of textures noises and ambiences and like some little accents or phrases i went over to my section one shot kit i went to my textures and I got this underwater bubbles. I love this texture so much, bro. See what I'm saying? And then I got this white noise. And Party Nets Door and 40 and all them actually talked about how they use a lot of white noise and pink noise in their production to just fill up empty space. So those textures together. And then I added this one. Then I got this accent from, how, how you say his name? Loshi, I think that's how you say his name. I was like, man, I heard that. I'm like, ugh. So you go ahead and put those accents and textures together. You got this, right? So then I started adding these vocal chops that I made. So then I added this vocal chop that I made. I just chopped up an original vocal. I'll probably put it in like a future one shot kit. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, that's a finished touch right there. So you put all those together and we got this. Yeah. And then that was the arrangement for that. And then what I did to go ahead and just flip it was highlight all of this except the base. And I just went over to the master channel. I clicked on this little knob right here, did option R if you're on Mac or Alt R if you're on Windows, I believe. And I reversed it and then I pitched it down an octave. It just gave it a different vibe, you know what I'm saying? Just to switch the vibe up for the bridge. All right, so now getting into the nitty gritty. If we go over here to the drums, this is what we got. Mm, you hear that bass blast? That shit blow your speakers. So if I didn't already say it, all these drums are from my Summit drum kit. Man, y'all don't like. I love this drum kit so damn much. The first thing that I did was just follow the bass line for our bass over here. I just I wanted to let them like crash into each other too so as you guys can tell i have them like literally playing against each other like layered it just gave it that more nitty gritty just pressure bro pattern yeah that's just hard and over here just and 
gonna have it stop right on the three right here so then next up i added this snare oh excuse me next up i added this kick that just hits on the one as you guys can see just gives it that extra punch yeah and then this rim hits on the three yeah but then for the hi-hat, it's a two-step hi-hat. But as you guys can see, I played around with the velocity. And I also added these little uh, lower hi-hats. So yeah, y'all, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead over to tonicsounds.com and check out my new Summit drum kit. The best drum kit out right now, I promise you guys. Sounds custom made by me. Got bonus midis in there. Drum mixing presets. So literally all y'all need but with that being said thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe and i'm out love y'all let's get it